Welcome to Mirantis OpenStack, a pure play OpenStack distribution that's the most scalable, flexible, and operationally simple on the market. This video demonstrates Mirantis OpenStack's integration with Juniper's Contrail SDN solution. Software Defined Network, SDN for short, provides enterprises and public cloud operators with numerous advantages, including dynamic network and service provisioning and telemetry of network conditions. But SDN also offers many challenges, including the complexity of configuring and deploying solutions with many software parts, redundant, highly available controllers, and distributed virtual routing. Earlier this year, Mirantis and Juniper released a reference architecture for manual integration of their solutions, which stretched to some 50 pages and numerous detailed steps. Now, Juniper and Mirantis will shortly release a fully automated solution that can rapidly deploy Contrail in tandem with a Mirantis OpenStack cluster. Automating the work is a certified Fuel plugin, an add-on to Mirantis Fuel OpenStack deployment and lifecycle management tool that populates Contrail controller nodes with a base operating system and deploys Contrail and related components to these and other nodes from a local package repository. This Mirantis and Juniper joint solution will enable our customers to easily deploy SDN and OpenStack technologies to rapidly roll out mission-critical applications. The benefits are not only about reducing the cost of operations, but also the risk of operations. With that, let's go to the demo. In this demo, you'll see how easy it is to deploy Contrail and OpenStack with Mirantis Fuel. First, we'll show you how to install the Contrail Fuel plugin. This happens before deployment. Next, we'll demonstrate using Fuel to create a new OpenStack environment using the same Fuel interface to deploy the Contrail nodes. Finally, we'll use Contrail to create a virtual network, instantiate virtual machines, and verify they can communicate with each other. On the left, this is the topology we're using for this demo. We've already installed Mirantis Fuel in our test environment downloading the Mirantis OpenStack ISO and using it to boot a local machine or VM following instructions in the Mirantis OpenStack user guide to create a Fuel Master node, which we can access with command line functions or via a web interface. Our next step is to install the Contrail plugin. We download the plugin file and copy it to the Fuel Master node's plugin folder using SCP. Then we log into the Fuel Master node and issue the command fuel plugins dash dash install contrail to install the plugin. Next, we copy the contrail package to the Fuel Master node under the same plugins directory. Once it's copied, we log back into the Fuel Master node, cd to the plugin directory, and run the installation script, which extracts files and creates a local deployment repository. Once the plugin has been installed, we're ready to create a new OpenStack environment. From the Fuel Web UI, click the New OpenStack Environment icon to start the wizard. Give the environment a name, Contrail Plugin in our case. From the drop down list, select Juno OpenStack and the Ubuntu Operating System. For Network Model, select Neutron with VLAN segmentation. Leave other parameters at their default settings. Click Create. Our next pre-deployment step is to configure networks on the Network Setup tab. We begin by setting up the public network using the CIDR 10-109-1-0-24. We configure the subnet and gateway. 
We also need to define a floating IP range within the public network space so that virtual instances can have public network and internet connectivity. Moving ahead, we configure the storage network and management network then save settings. Now we need to enable the Contrail plugin. Under the settings tab, we scroll down and check the appropriate box. Here we can also configure the private network that is dedicated for Contrail communication. We also need to configure the public interface. Again, save settings. Now we're ready to add nodes. For this demo, we're creating a five node environment. The first node is going to be the OpenStack controller, and the second node will be compute and storage. The remaining three nodes we'll use for the Contrail cluster so we'll deploy these with just the base operating system role. We also need to give each Contrail controller a name. Contrail-1, Contrail-2, Contrail-3. It's important to set the node name correctly here because the Contrail plugin will use all nodes with the operating system role and the Contrail dash name as Contrail controllers. Now that nodes have roles, our next step is to configure network interfaces on them. All our nodes will use the same interface setup, so we select all and configure them together. We configure the management network, storage network, private network, and public network. As mentioned earlier, the private network, here on interface ETH3, is dedicated for Contrail communication. Apply changes. Now we're ready to deploy our Mirantis OpenStack cluster with Juniper Contrail. The deployment will take some time, so we'll pause a little bit here and come back. We're back with a successfully deployed OpenStack environment. Let's go to the OpenStack dashboard to verify the status. Logging in with the default credentials, we see we have one hypervisor running on node 5, the compute node. Next, we switch to the Contrail web UI. For Contrail web access, you use the last IP of the public IP range. In our scenario, the public network is on the 10.109.1.0.24 subnet so the web can be accessed at 2.54. Logging into Contrail with the same default credentials, we can see there are three controller nodes, three analytic nodes, and three config nodes running. And we also have a virtual router running on the compute node number five. Now let's use the Contrail Web UI to create a virtual network. Navigate to Networking, Create Network. We'll start by creating a private network and give it the name Internal. Add a subnet 10 100 0 0 24, as well as allocation pools. Switching back to OpenStack Horizon, we can see that the internal virtual network is now configured with network addresses. Similarly, we will create our public network, giving it the name External. Its subnet will be 10 
100, 1, 0 slash 24, and we'll also define allocation pools. For the external network, we have some additional configuration. We need to make sure it's set as shared and external. Finally, we also have to configure the route targets. This is Contrail specific configuration, which needs to match the setting from the gateway nodes. In our case, that means entering 64512 10,000. Save the configuration. Next, we have to assign some floating IPs to the external network. As you can see, we have 10 floating IPs configured. With networks created, our next step is to check the network connectivity. We go to the Horizon dashboard and we launch two instances. The first instance is called Test and we attach it to the internal network. Similarly, we can launch the second instance, Test2, and put that into the same internal network. So when both instances are up and running, we go to the second instance and log into the console using the typical Cirrus credentials. Here, we can check the IP configuration and from the second instance, ping the first instance. As you can see, those two instances can communicate with each other. Finally, we'll verify internet access. For internet access, we need to configure the floating IP, so we go to networking ports and do so. We assign the 100 IP to the first instance and the 101 IP to the second instance. Switching to the OpenStack dashboard, you can verify the floating IPs are assigned. Let's go to the virtual instance to verify internet access. We ping google.com. As you can see, this virtual instance has internet access. Thanks for watching our demo. To learn more about Juniper Contrail and Mirantis OpenStack, please visit our websites.